More on the breaking news for you this hour out of Manitoba, where at least 10 people are dead after a collision between a truck and a disability transit vehicle west of Winnipeg. The CBC Sarah Galashin joins me now with more on this story. Uh, so Sarah, I, I know these details are changing minute by minute. What's the latest you have? Well, David, so it was a witness uh, who spoke with CBC, who witness short uh, to the aftermath uh, of this accident happening, this uh, very serious collision, as the RCMP described it in a tweet, uh, who said that this happened just after noon local time. It was just before 1 p.m. local time that the RCMP put out that tweet, warning the public uh, that uh, to stay away from and that the Highway 1 near the intersection with Highway 5 was, was closed to traffic, traffic being rerouted because they said they were dealing with a very serious collision collision near the town of uh, Carberry, uh, which is in, in between outside of it's in southwestern Manitoba, but outside of Winnipeg and sort of in between Winnipeg and, and Brandon, Manitoba. To that, we reached out to the fire department in Brandon, Manitoba, and then they were the ones to first confirm that this was uh, a collision between a semi truck uh, and a, a transit or a handy transit vehicle is how they have described this. Uh, that would be a vehicle that is used to uh, transport people with, as you put it, to mobility issues, uh, disabilities, uh, people who would not be able to easily travel in other forms of transportation generally. Um, there are fire damage, we can see from the pictures from the scene, fire damage to both of these vehicles, most significantly to the, the smaller of the two, that the handy transit vehicle, as the fire department in Brandon described it, uh, that's the most significant damage. And our reporters on the ground are saying uh, that in, in the... At the scene of this, there is a, a walker that can be seen near to the, uh, the uh, handy transit or the, the smaller van, if you will. This story is uh, obviously making headlines right now uh, across the country and generating reaction. And we have had uh, condolences expressed by both uh, the, uh, the liberal leader, Justin Trudeau, or the conservative federal leader, uh, Pierre Polyev, offering their condolences. The premier of Manitoba, Heather Stephenson, her statement uh, reads in part, Thoughts are with uh, family and loved ones of the lives impacted by the horrific and devastating tragedy near the, the town of Carberry. The flags at uh, the legislative building are at half mast uh, currently, and the deputy premier is going to be attending this press conference at which the RCMP will be facing a lot of questions, uh, David. Uh, you know, this is an a, a collision that's very, very serious, uh, as you can see from the pictures, and the fact that we have had a source uh, confirming to CBC that at least 10 people people have been killed in this. Um, uh, how did a collision like this happen in the midday um, in what appears to be from the scene, you know, broad daylight? What exactly were the circumstances here? That's going to be the number one question that's asked. Yeah, the, the images are, are grim and we already know this is a mass casualty event and the hospitals are on high alert uh, to deal with this. I mean, what are you hearing and what are we hearing from hospitals in the area? Well, that the, the, the main trauma center in Winnipeg uh, declared a code orange early on and that there are a number of hospitals involved both within Winnipeg, at least two there, and as well in another uh, health authority uh, in Brandon, we understand, uh, able to take patients. Uh, Stars Air Ambulance, uh, which is the, the service, the air service that uh, responds to uh, emergencies throughout the prairies, so we're talking about Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba, they have, we've spoken to them and they have uh, said this is one of the, the most significant responses that they have launched. Uh, they said that they put uh, two helicopters to it, transported more crews uh, via two planes, 14 crew members in all, and that's just for the air transport uh, portion of this. And we have reporters on the ground outside the hospital in Winnipeg who have seen helicopters coming to and from of course, that could be related to uh, any other incident, perhaps, but uh, this is certainly the one that is of focus right now in Manitoba. And to the point of this being significant, David, uh, the, the representative from Stars Air Ambulance comparing it to the kind of responses that they have launched uh, for the, the massacre at the James Smith Cree Nation um, and, and as well the Humboldt, uh, the Humboldt bus crash in Saskatchewan. And, and both of those are, are not stories that our, our viewers would be unfamiliar with. No, uh, certainly not. Uh, Sarah, uh, thanks. Uh, I know you're dealing with a torrent of information coming in. We appreciate you breaking it down for us. Thank this is CBC's Sarah Galashin. Thank you so much.